Yes, it is a Numicron. This is a Numicron model 765 case made in 1965. This video is about re safely removing this asbestos heat shield that is in all the 765 clocks. I've been asked about this and there's two things you can do. You could completely saturate it with super glue and seal it, but I prefer to remove it. Now, number one thing about asbestos is dust and fibers, and that's what makes it dangerous. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to set it in the sink, and I'm going to run water on it. Once it's completely wet, it will be totally safe to work with. As you can see, the asbestos is immediately turning dark. Now there's no chance of any dust. I'm going to let the hot water run for a few minutes and soften the glue that holds the asbestos in there. Like I said, a lot of people are very scared of this asbestos thing. But once wet, it's pretty safe to work with. Okay, let's set this down. First thing I'm going to do is simply try to peel off as much of the asbestos as I can and 90% of it actually comes off fine. Now you're left with this glue residue and the uh, fibers that are still glued to the case. I'm going to let that soak in the running hot water to try to soften the glue some more. I'm going to dispose of this by putting it in a Ziploc bag. Bear in mind it's still wet, there's no dust. I'm going to put it in a Ziploc and seal the Ziploc bag. Now there's so little here, there's no problem with just throwing this in your regular trash. There's not enough there that is of any environmental concern. Things good and wet. Leave a little bit of water inside the case. And I'm just going to take this blade and scrape the glue remaining asbestos off of the inside of the plastic. This may not sound very pleasant. turns out the plastic becomes quite white because of the yellowing coming on the surface of the plastic. This is like running nails on a chalkboard.
Now there's actually more plastic here than asbestos fibers. That little tiny bit of it going into the drain isn't going to hurt anything. And the only thing that's kind of hard to get is this last little area because it's recessed behind this rib. You can just get it the best you can. And for safety, I may just seal it with crazy glue. So that there's no chance. So that side didn't have a ridge. Sorry about the noise. That cleaned up quite well. And there you go, there's absolutely no asbestos left on the inside of this uh, Numicron case. So everybody's wondering, well, how are you going to protect it from melting? Well, I don't run the 3 watt bulbs anymore. I uh, run LEDs. LEDs don't produce the heat. like the uh, original lamps did. Bearing in mind originally the lamps the clocks are supposed to take look like this. They don't make these anymore. The smallest thing you can get is actually I think that's a 4 watt. That'll melt your clock. I did locate a 3 watt bulb which are these guys and they work good if you insist that you have to have an incandescent light the thing with the LEDs they don't put out much light very little in fact. They're the 4 watt size and shape. They give the TV screen a nice glow and they keep your clock safe so you can leave the light on continuously. So yes, this is the safe removal of the asbestos shield from model 765 Numicron. The Numicrons.